This is the Algebra 1 practice test for TN Ready. Question on this version anyway, number 6. Which expression is equivalent to Q squared minus 16? Now, I will say that I am going to factor these just so you can see a factor, but or factoring anyway. The reality is they give you answer choices, and there are a variety of ways that you can get these answers. One of them is just to multiply your answer choices to see if you can get that answer. As a reminder, q minus 4 as a term squared is the same as q minus 4 times q minus 4. So you could multiply your answer choices, that's fine. Like for instance, this one you'd get q squared minus 4q minus 4q again plus 16. So this one, you know, wouldn't really work all that well because these will combine together. And in your heart's heart, you look at it immediately and you think, well, I know that the square root of 16 is 4 and the square root of q squared is q, so it's probably this one, right? No. Here's why. Because this answer is not positive. If you're going to multiply negative times negative, it's going to be a positive. Just FYI, that is a thing. And then you can, once we get our answer choice, we'll work it backwards and see if we can get there. So anyway, the thing that we need to do here is sort of think about, well, what would give me a negative answer like how could I get to that point and the reality is the only way you can do it is if one is positive and one is negative so I'm going to start with one here I'm going to try to make negative 16 so I need to do a factor list for 16 and since one has to be positive and one has to be negative I need to look for pairs that uh, cancel out so of course I have 1 and 16 2 and 8 and 4 and 4. So if I have positive 4 and I subtract 4, that gives me 0. That's what I'm looking for. So I end up with q minus or q plus 4. It could be minus 4 too. So, uh, multiplication is commutative, so you're good. And q minus 4. So my answer for this one should be p. And if you want to test it, you should q squared minus 4q plus 4q and then minus 16. And all I'm doing there is distributing or FOIL, whatever you want to call it. These cancel out and you end up with q squared minus 16. So there's your answer. Well, 8 and 2 won't work. They will give you negative 16 because one of them is negative and one of them is positive. But 8 minus 2 is 6, so you'd have a 6q in here, and negative 8 plus 2 is negative 6, so you'd have a negative 6q there. So those won't work. Your only answer choice is here. So that's what you're really looking for. If you have a um, squared term in the front and a squared term in the back and a minus, you need to make sure that you actually cancel out that middle term, which requires you to have different signs, and then you just take the square root of both and put them in the front or the back, depending on what you need to do.